Okay, in this video I will show you how to use the new autocomplete feature of WordFast Classic that was introduced in version 6. Here I'm using the latest beta version of WordFast Classic to date, 6.03c. The autocomplete feature is located under Setup and AC for autocomplete. Autocomplete can be fed from a number of sources which are listed here. I will start with the first one which is translation memory. But before that, let's see how WordFast worked uh, before the introduction of uh, Autocomplete. So here I have a source segment for which I know there are several fuzzy matches in the TM. I will open this uh, segment for translation and I can see I have an 87% fuzzy match and I can also see from the status bar at the bottom of the window that there are other matches available and I can use ALT left and ALT right to cycle through the other matches. So if I press ALT right I get a second fuzzy match 86% if I hit Alt right again, I get a third match, 82%. And again with Alt left and Alt left, I get back to the first fuzzy match. Now I can also use the display TM function in order to see the TU from the TM that uh, triggered this match. So the first one I can see, I can also see highlighted in yellow the difference uh, between the TU in the TM and the new segment to be translated. So the difference is uh, team versus desk. For the second match it's center and for the third one it's department. So that's how fuzzy matches when there were several of them worked before the introduction of AC. Now let's see how autocomplete affects this function. So I'm going to set up an AC and I'll enable autocomplete and I'll take segments from translation memory. I'll close my setup window and I'll open my segment. Now I can see that all three fuzzy matches are displayed in a box below the active segment pair and with the down and up arrow I can cycle through these suggestions. If I want to accept the second one I put the cursor on it and I hit enter and here it is. I can also use display translation memory in which case I see the TU in the TM that triggered the match and again the difference is highlighted. So if I move to the third match I can see department was the different word and in the first one it was team versus desk. So that's how we can use the autocomplete feature together with translation memory. Now let's go back to setup. I will disable uh, the TM and instead I will enable machine translation. I will go to setup AC. I will untick segments from translation memory and instead I will tick segments from machine translation. I close this setup window and I'll open my segment once again. Now I get three suggestions that are displayed in the AC box below the active segment pair which are labeled MT1, MT2 and MT3. So these are machine translation suggestions from Google Translate, Microsoft Translator and Wordlingo. If I want to accept the second one I can select it and press enter and it will be copied to the target segment. I can modify them. As I want. 
If I want to see uh, once again the other suggestions, I can press the home key and that displays the suggestions from machine translation. So that's how to use machine translation together with autocomplete in WordFast Classic. Now I'll move back to setup. I'll keep machine translation. I'll go to AC. But instead of using segments from machine translation, I will be using subsegments instead. Let's see how it works. So once again, I open my segment for translation. I get uh, a suggestion that I won't be using. Instead, I'll start typing. And when I type the letter I, I get two suggestions, the same word in plural and singular. So I can uh, select the one I want, press enter. And when I continue typing, Again, VE, I get Veuillez Communiquer or Veuillez, I can accept the one I want. Contacter notre service client. Here again, I get four suggestions which are all subsegments or chunks from the machine translation retrieved by WordFast, and I can select the one I want and press Enter. So that's how to use subsegments from machine translation that can be interesting when there are no sensible proposals at the segment level but within these segments that have been retrieved from machine translation some of them contain interesting bits and uh, they can be used as we saw right now. Now let's move back to setup and I'll disable machine translation. I'll go to AC again and I'll untick seg subsegments from machine translation and instead I will tick placeables from the source segment. Now for the purpose of uh, this exercise I will use a slightly different uh, segment which is displayed here. So I will start translating it and when I need to type the names of the persons displayed in the source segment, what I can do is just press the first letter of their name and autocomplete will display a suggestion that is the full name which I can accept with enter. I can continue and same with K, I can accept the whole name and for the number, I can press 0 and I will have three different possibilities. I will select the first one, which is the full phone number followed by a dot. So that's how to use placeables, which are typically uh, proper names, numbers and the like in WordFast Classic with autocomplete. Now let's go to setup again. Let's activate a glossary for terminology. Let's move to setup and AC. I'll untick placeables from the source segment and instead I will tick terminology from glossaries. I'll move back to my initial uh, segment which I will now open. I can see there are three terms that have been recognized in the source segment. For more information, please contact and customer service. And uh, what I can do is I can start typing my translation. And when I write POU or P-O-U, I get a first suggestion in the AC box, which is the translation of my recognized term. I can accept it with enter. I can continue typing. Again, the first two letters are sufficient and I get the translation NOTRE and uh, BUREAU and here I can type SE, service, and I have two possibilities that are in my glossary so I can select the one I want and press ENTER. So that's one way of using terminology, typing the first two or three letters of the target term 
The other possibility, if I have very complicated source terms that I don't know, uh, and I don't know their translation in uh, French, what I can do instead is typing the first two or three letters of the source term. So if I type the first one for more information, I can type FO, and again I get the same suggestion. Please contact, I don't know the translation in French, so I can type PL, and I get a suggestion. Notre Bureau, Customer Service, I type CU, and I get uh, suggestion. So that's a second way of uh, using terminology in connection with autocomplete by typing the first two or three letters of the source term instead of target term. Now let's put everything together by activating the TM, activating machine translation, going to setup AC and now I will tick all the options that I had before. I left subsegments from machine trans from translation memory because based on my tests it's not functional in this version and I also left subsegments from the web which is a kind of uh, wild feature that uh, I'll maybe make a video about later on. So I have activated now all five options and let's see how it will work when I open my segment. So I get first my three fuzzy matches from the TM. I get three suggestions from machine translation, MT1, MT2, MT3, Google, Microsoft, uh, Wordlingo. And if I decide not to use any of them, but instead using recognized terminology, I can still uh, do that. So if I tap pour, I can get this. Veuillez contacter. Here I get both suggestions from the glossary, which is the first one, where I have uh, source and target. But I also get uh, suggestions from subsegments from machine translation. Veuillez contacter notre Bureau was uh, also it was not uh, in a glossary, but it's a subsegment from machine translation, so I can use it. And service client, I have several possibilities, both from glossaries, uh, service client and service à la clientèle, and also uh, from uh, subsegments from machine translation. So that's how I could uh, use the autocomplete feature in WordFast Classic 6.